All right, a third progression on trigger mechanics is not pinning the trigger. A lot of people, when they first start taking firearms classes, they teach follow through of pulling the trigger all the way back and holding it to the rear. And that's good as a first level, but to go beyond that, you want to get off that, that fully rearward position and get back on to that next shot. So that's called avoiding pinning the trigger. Now the cert is designed when you pin the trigger, the green laser stays on. We prep the trigger, we break it, and then we come back to that reset as quickly as possible to do that second follow-up shot. So it's prep break, prep break, prep break, prep break, prep break, and then we're back up on that reset until we're ready to engage again. So let's see how this looks on target. All right, so I'm up on target, and I'm prepping, then breaking, 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 breaking. Okay, you can see how the red is staying on. I'm not pinning the trigger, holding it back. I'm breaking it and coming back, breaking it and coming back, breaking it and coming back. And pretty soon you can get good enough to where you can hold it on target, have dots, not those undesirable dashes, and have accuracy and speed. Another quick thing to note is this target we have is about 15 yards, and I like to use further targets because with the with the distance, it accentuates those errors all the more. Our acceptable accuracy zone is fairly large for that target. That's just a standard, simple 8.5 by 11 white sheet of paper. Nothing fancy. We don't really need much because an acceptable accuracy zone of, of a piece of paper is, is okay for this purpose of this drill.